Hi, Dr. Mark Lynch, VIP Chiropractic. Um, this time of the year, springtime, a lot of my patients are having allergies and sinus congestion. So I've, I've done this only probably a thousand times in the office. And, then, and I said, you know what, why don't I make a little video? Then people can watch the video. So I'm going to do a very quick crash course on how to do lymphatic drainage of the sinuses and of the throat. Um, and it's relatively pretty easy. Uh, and, and this has helped so many moms with their children who have sore throats so they can go to school the next day, but also people right now with the allergies. Uh, so Wendy, if you want to zoom in on the poster and the whole lymphatic drainage of the whole face breaks down into three different zones. There's the top zone, which is your forehead zone that goes to the front of the uh, TMJ. Then there's the cheek zone. Then there's the jaw zone. They all drain to the front of the TMJ, then they go down the neck, and they go into these two little spots, respectively, on the right side and on the left side. Um, now, um, also, sometimes the sinuses, so you've got your frontal sinuses right here, you've got your ethmoid and maxillary sinuses right in here, but sometimes the, the, the fluids don't even drain to the front of the jaw, they actually go to the ear, crazy as it sounds. So there's also lymph nodes at the top of the ear, front of the ear, back of the ear, and right down at the base of the skull. It's not crazy as enough the sinuses can drain all the way back to here, which is Nowhereville, it's stuck, and now that's part of your, your headaches at the back of your head versus the headaches at the front of the head where your sinuses are. Uh, so basically what you always do in the beginning is just tap, tap, tap on these two right and left spots, and that truly is the lymphatic drainage of the whole body on the right side eventually goes right to here. So even when we're tapping here, we're helping drain the big toe, uh, which crazy as it sounds. And then a spot right here on the left side, helps drain the whole left side of the body. So when you're doing the uh, sinus decongestion, the sinus drainage for this allergy symptoms, you always start right here. You just tap, 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 tap. Then you rub down the side of the neck, and I'll demonstrate on myself in a second, uh, but behind your big SCM muscle with seven lymph nodes in your neck. This, uh, and you just slide down, you get some oil or cream on your hands so you don't rub your skin raw, you just slide down the neck. And, the, and you always gotta start down here first because if you're trying to get this to move and this is all congested, it, this can't drain because there's a traffic jam right here. So you always start at the bottom, work your way up. Uh, so from here, then you're at the very front of the TMJ, the jaw, and you just push that fluid from the jaw over to the side of the neck and then down the neck, tap, tap, tap. Um, then you can get into more specific work of helping the frontal sinuses drain, and that's just going to be gently caressing the skin from your forehead down into the front of the TMJ, doing that multiple times, and then you get right in that little corner where the, uh, the, eye, the inner medial eye socket is. A lot of fluid gets stuck in that area to forget to get, how do we get out of this cul-de-sac when well, you come this way, and you've got to demonstrate, and you've got to show it to the patient. So you just rub over the top of the eyelid and you rub over the top of the eye socket, again, bringing it to the TMJ. Then you're underneath and you're rubbing under the bottom of the eyelid and the cheek zone and you're rubbing it to the TMJ. And then you could also be down on the jawbone itself, rubbing it up to the TMJ. And now we're doing the true drainage since we opened everything up. Now you rub from the TMJ into the side of the neck, down the side of the neck, tap, tap, tap. So how does that look in real life? Well. Um, right here is your clavicle bone. And you want to be just behind the clavicle bone, right in this hollow on the side of your neck, right there. And you're just tapping. That's all you're just tapping. Now back to what I mentioned earlier with sore throats. A lot of times, just doing this tapping helps get all the used white blood cells out of the area. So fresh white blood cells for your lymphatic system to come in and fight the invader. This is a beautiful thing. I haven't had a sore throat in 10 years because whenever I do feel it coming on, I'm like, oh no, I won't be able to go to work tomorrow, I'll be sick. No, just do this. And now you see me rubbing down the side of my neck. And so I've never had to not miss work because of a sore throat because I helped my body be strong and I help my immune system really get to the area that needs some support and this has helped a, a lot of young mothers when the kids come home from school and don't feel good and you just do this on them and you will feel a difference if this is really puffy it will be down and reduced in size in five minutes it works that fast so you may want to do it more than once or twice it could be a little more uh, stringent so if I'm ever on a long trip driving somewhere you'll um, you'll see me doing this um, because I got the time but also if I'm gonna catch a plane uh, and I'm in an airport with a lot of, you know, new people, 
and new bacteria. I'll constantly do this. And I won't even have any symptoms, but my lymph nodes will be swollen because my body's already being exposed and trying to process information of new ant antigens in the air. And this really works well. So there's your side of the neck. Um, right here's that TMJ. So I'm just going to rub. I'm just helping. Because a lot of times the lymph that gets stuck right here, it forgets to jump over and come down the side of the neck. So that's it. You just do that right there, right there, right there. The forehead, here's your forehead, and you're just massaging it down, helping move that, those congested lymph nodes, move that fluid to the TMJ. Here is the, um, the upper eyelid, so I'm in the upper part of the eye socket. And then I'm gently with the eye closed, obviously, just massaging that... Uh, swollen eyelid over to the TMJ area. Uh, a lot of fluid gets stuck in here so you just gotta go come on this is the way you're supposed to go this way this way this way and then I'm massaging it this way. There's my bottom of my eye socket there's my eyelid and I'm helping move it to the TMJ again TMJ to the side of the neck very gentle down 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 tap 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 here's the cheek structure to the TMJ here's my uh, lower jaw Bringing it to the TMJ, TMJ and over, down, 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 down. Uh, I didn't talk about it earlier, but you could actually be under the under the mouth. There's your sublingual and submandibular lymph nodes. And I'm on the side of my throat, pushing it toward the SEM group. Drain, 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 tap, 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 tap. The ear loads, uh, the ear lymph nodes I was talking about, there's ones at the top, the front, the back, and the suboccipital. Very easy. Just massage around the ear. And that one you just goes right down to the SCM, <coughs> tap, tap, tap. Uh, also your suboccipital lymph nodes, again, I'm just bringing them to the sides. And you'll feel it sometimes there'll be a nodule or like a little baby pee. And you're just helping put, it's swollen. Bring it to the side, down the side, tap, 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 tap. Uh, something else that helps with sinus decongestion is just doing a counter rotation like this. A lot of times this nasal frontal bone junction really gets jammed up. So I'm just going back and forth and you can do it as strong as you want. I'm kind of demonstrating a little more visually so you see the direction of force on the camera. But that really does open up this area which gets very congested. And the other thing you could also do is just tractioning the nose bone, trying to unjam the nose bone. So I'm pulling down on the nose and I'm lifting up on the forehead. And that really helps open up that sinus congestion area. Um, so there's some quick tips and I really have to give a thanks to Dr. Violini, who was my chiropractic instructor at clinic back in 1986 and 87, um, who demonstrated that. And he was an old Italian chiropractor from Brooklyn, and boy, uh, he was a great guy. So uh, hopefully that's helpful for all my sinus sufferers and sore throat sufferers. And uh, there you go. Have a good day.